You know, I don't think it could have gone better. Again, you don't plan on We backed up spring practice to avoid some weather here in, in St. George. You'd never think on April 9th that it'd be raining here. But, you know, it is what we got some football weather finally, you know, which we don't get in St. George often. But, you know, if you, if you could script it, everybody came out healthy. You know, no major injuries today, which is your number one concern. And then number two, I mean, the game's tied 18-18 with one series to go on the script, and so you couldn't ask for a better situation. Someone was going to win, someone was going to lose. <laughs> well, I didn't, and again, it's funny because a lot of times in spring games that will happen, but like you said, I mean, offense came out. You know, we needed to finish that first drive, honestly. You know, they had a couple big plays, and we need to finish, and that would be something we talked about with them. You know, but then, like I said, the defense kind of got more comfortable, got into the flow of things, and then they stepped it up, caused some turnovers. You know, so it was back and forth, and, you know, the offense finished strong. You know, the first offense scored that last touchdown against the two defense, you know, and then, you know, so it tied it up, and then the threes came out and got that little bit of fun. You know, and that's the thing about Blake. I think, you know, early on he probably got a knock as, hey, he's a quarterback, and, you know, obviously left Dixie High as a great quarterback. But I'm going to tell you, he is one heck of an athlete. He could probably line up and play safety for us, play corner for us. We've already played him, I think, at like nine different positions on the offense. We're waiting for him to play center and snap it to himself. But, no, he had a great spring. And it's a lot of fun, you know, especially for Coach Murph, you know, to have a talent like Blake to be able to move him around, put him in different situations and again defensively with Tyson and Blake on the field at the same time you know they busted it out last week with Blake at quarterback and Tyson at wide receiver which you know you're just like okay hold on a second and, you know coach Al's like is this Wildcat and I said no this is our offense you know so again it's it's a lot of fun for Murph it's a lot of fun for me to watch thank gosh I'm not the coordinator anymore on defense I don't have to deal with it I just get to yell at him and defend it but no, it's a lot of fun. Blake's done a great job. Really happy. Um, you know, and then you got Cliff in Orlando. You know, even Ernest Cacho, a walk-on, who was, was up at Utah State before, came out that last couple of series and just pounds the heck out of the rock. And we've got another couple of high school kids coming in. You know, with this recruiting class, so it's a talented, talented position. It's really nice that those guys also very much like Blake are able to line up in the slot, go out the wide receiver. You know, so again, as a defensive coach, you look at our offense and say, what personnel grouping on there? Don't know. You know, so because all our kids are so multiple. So it's, I know Murph again is having too much fun with it sometimes in practice, but now he can go do all that stuff and I don't have to deal with it. I think Keanu is definitely our leader. You know, Folk is a guy that, you know, doesn't take any baloney, but, you know, leads by example. Um, Colton is a great leader, yes, but a quiet leader. Um, but both those young men are, you know, really strong leaders for us. Folk even coming into his senior year has really made it a point of emphasis to lead. You know, so he's done a really nice job for us this spring.